our little sister Kennedy is finally back from leaving us and not telling me that she left. I, did I didn't tell even you. know that you left New York. I did tell you. Or for New York. If you listen, you, you would know. Because yeah. she, 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 she no. said she was going. I knew she was going Last at some Tuesday, point. Last Tuesday, she was going. Yeah, and then I was like, Kennedy, are you coming to the podcast? No response. I will say, I was rewatching last night the the weed podcast and there was a, p- a point where all four of us were speaking at once and i was like all right i kind of want to shoot us all in the head <laughs> well that's why i was literally going to bring in like a stuffed animal like an elephant or something and whoever's holding it is the one who's oh, yeah. maybe we no, should do that potato i'm going to try really you hard are, you are a potato somebody. mom have- no i'm a mouse a mouse everybody yes. just wants to speak that's why this is how our conversation why did my rise my wrapper on the ground i didn't do that because you made a mess i moved it because you're making the table look disgusting i'm going to start convulsing from Coffee. Know, are you feeling your heart rate? Going? No, but I think I'm addicted to coffee as well. Oh, now. I'm, dr- I'm drinking this, and as I'm drinking, and I don't know how he drinks the whole thing. I'm like, I drink like three of these like in a day, easy. I already drank That's a little weird. bit of instant coffee. Instant coffee is slept I need, like, on. Tasty drink. Disgusting. You don't have any tasty no, it's drinks. really not. I'm telling you, Brandon. Buy a jar of instant coffee from Whole Foods. Tasty All you like gotta sweet. do is heat. It's literally better than some of the coffee I've gotten from coffee shops. It's literally not. Definitely better. It's definitely all better grainy than this. and There's disgusting. The kind that you mix in with water. Yes, oh. it's not grainy. Hey, this is good. What it's are not you grainy. Doing? It's that's not instant dried. coffee. Wait, she's talking about instant <clears throat> coffee. She's talking about the powder. That's stuff I no, used no, no. to use when I was like 15. It's not powder. It's granules it's, of yeah, freeze dried, like super concentrated coffee. So it yeah, just dissolves in it. hot water. Yeah. So fast. You are so good. lazy. <laughs> oh. I was really mean. I was really mean. <laughs> How was that mean? I don't know. That's it's very, a, it was I'm lazy it. too. Did you read the comments right, no and now you hate me too? Uh, oh, okay. We're going <laughs> to go there out now. Po- it was just out of pocket. Like she's talking about instant coffee and you're like, you are yes. so lazy. Stop having, <laughs> stop writing mean comments about my sister. Okay. Listen, yeah, I don't write care. them about Brandon instead. Yeah. No, write no, them no, about no. me. No. no, no, no! Don't write them no. about. Don't, don't write them about anybody. anybody. Listen, Listen I can take yeah. it. Yeah, like, like I know you probably want to write a comment about the thing that Claudia has on her lip right now. <laughs> Just don't write the they comment. Can't even okay? see it. You probably can't even see I it on camera. I have a pimple Let patch on. I have a fucking mustache pimple. Can Ooh, I just um. put a little like black dot on there for like? A, no. It looks kind of good. It looks like, like you have like a beauty big mark. beauty mark mole. Mine? Yeah. Yeah. You see mine. Wait, where yeah, but yours is black. Where? Yeah, I know. I make mine look like real freckle. This is uh, actually I just darken a freckle on this side, and this side I have a little pimple. So if I have a pimple, I turn I it into a baby. Do you guys get those little sort of, yeah. little red moles everywhere? We've already talked about. We've already I'm talked about that. No. Brandon They're has called... a mole fetish. Shh. I don't have a mole fetish. Wait, I'm getting these red little dots all over my body, the and I want to remove them Listen, now. Wait, show me. Corey, hand me the turtle shell. I have one right here. Unless Brandon, I have. You cannot speak. All right, I have cut those off of my body before with an eyebrow. You're a savage. They are called cherry hemangiomas. They're not moles. Oh. You're a cherry hemangioma. Really <laughs> <doing this? laughs> Wait, give me it. Wait, um, somebody's gonna now, knock one now, of these over. Now the whole that. thing's gonna be everybody getting. Give me it. One time, I had what I'm assuming was a skin tag on my eye, on my eyelid. Kennedy, that's yeah. You told I me. I took that. an eyebrow that razor good. and I cut it off of my no, eyelid. You do not do that, especially you around your eye. Pillow. I don't, we're not doing that. <laughs> Put the pillow down. Yeah. We need a talking stick. We just need to look at each other and be like, hey, and be respectful. That's all. You know it's what? Not that hard. So we we had breakfast the other day when when yeah you, you were did that here. the day that I was coming home by you the did way. That on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe oh. you. How did it feel? How did it feel to to not be with your family while they were having breakfast <laughs> while you're away it. in New York? I was really you know why? careless because you don't love us. Oh. <laughs> you just said you had a breakfast without me on purpose and said I don't love you. <laughs> no, he probably okay, even let's forgot. Talk about anyway, no, 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 real quick, real quick, because because this was really funny and I never knew that mom actually did this. Apparently, oh, mom claims, and this is a serious like problem, so I'm not like making fun of it or anything. Claim, mom, I mom know. claimed that she had Tourette's. <laughs> mom, tell everyone what you would do. Like, first I, of all, I didn't. I never got diagnosed. I just diagnosed myself because no, she had a I've tick. seen things. A I tick a is tick. very different than having full-blown But it was borderline Tourette's. Tourette's in my opinion from no being idea. hard on myself. What would you do? And, and I'll tell you something. I can't believe I'm sharing this with the, the internet. That's what I can't believe. Maybe I should have never told you. We probably we don't have, have to put it in if you but don't want Kennedy, to. Because oh, I had in. them laughing so hard and it wasn't even, tr- I wasn't trying. <laughs> So when Have I was you told young, this? no, I don't. I don't. Not to this. Ex, not to that. Well, extent. it wasn't just that she was telling us this. It was all these weird things she did when she was younger. Yeah, she used so to sniff the paper. I, I, like oh, okay, she wait, drew wait, 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 wait. Let her tell it. So it's funny because I have to just say I was a very what was that a horn? Oh, I was a very anxious 
child. Can they stop? Somebody's That's outside like a, honking like crazy. It's like a train coming with getting ready to come through the house. Do you guys Someone's hear that? Pissed. I don't think they can hear that though. What are they doing? <laughs> We're filming a podcast. <laughs> okay, I think I think they're done. I think they heard you. My lord, that was crazy. Okay, so I was a very anxious, nervous kid, very shy, believe it or not. And I would remember being the first memory is I remember being on a camp bus or school bus or something towards the back and I would just oh God, I, I would just throw my head back and like throw it hard where it would like hurt my neck probably why I have neck problems now and one kid and I could hear like somebody this, like what you go like, but, like, but I would always do it no yeah. no 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 I don't even want to like do that? it because I'm scared I'm gonna hurt my neck hurt. but I would throw it back really hard on one side like you see people who do this how, like that's a problem. Like that's a tick. Told, told that's this. a major tick because it's embarrassing. No, it's not. So listen. So I'm one. on the bus and I must have done this a lot and nobody ever said anything. And all of a sudden I hear behind me, what is she doing with her head? What is she doing? And I'm like, <gasps> Wait, how old were you? I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. And everybody starts talking about it. I'm like, and they're like, what are you doing? Some bully. <laughs> what are you doing with your head? You weirdo. <laughs> and I was like. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Everybody knows. And so obviously I'm pretty sure I never did it again on the bus because oh I was aware God. now. How old were you? Like 11, 12. Oh, that's so and sad. then, and then I remember my parents arguing about it. You look like you're tearing up. I am. Oh, and then <laughs> I, I remember, a very emotional yeah, child. I remember my parents arguing. My mom like slams the door walk. They never argued ever. And I'm like, I caused them an argument. My mom left. My dad's like, I went to my dad. I'm like, do I have to go to the doctor for this? And he was like, you're not going to the doctor. That was the argument was whether I had to go to the doctor or not. My mom was worried that something was really wrong. And my dad's like, there's nothing wrong with you. She's going to outgrow it. It'll be fine. And it was like a big thing. The other one was where I <laughs> <laughs> this one was making me laugh. No, there's a couple of them. Wait, what's is it? Do the, do the one with the teeth. This one. Yeah. Where I go. Ow. <laughs> yeah, and bite down really hard. I couldn't fucking I, I, stop. I think I do that like when I, I sleep. Like I couldn't stop How doing did it. Never tell us this. I don't. It's probably why I had jaw problems too. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I would go and I did this phase. It was a very short phase where I would have to. I had paper in school before I would write it, and I look around. I smell the paper. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do that or i would, would do it up. wait wait, wait. i don't smell remember smelling wait so what like if the paper what if, what if the paper smelled bad did, what do you mean like, like, like what were bad. you smelling did for? you just I don't like know the like, smell of it, like, yeah, what, if it was no it, did it have to have a certain no, smell to use it was it? a habit of just smelling paper That's, and then honestly, or i would go and put it down really quick if i couldn't go down to it I put it <laughs> that sounds like ocd yes i'm telling you it was like borderline I'm not saying Tourette's, but it, I think it was. It was. I, think it, I really think it was. And, you know, I like I said, I was never diagnosed because I never went to the doctor. But I do believe that it's like a nervous habit tick type of situation. And it was a problem. It was a big problem for a long time. And then it turned into the... Oh my oh, yeah, god! Yeah, you still do that. Do that yeah. And Dakota yeah. does it. Me and her do it in the house. God only knows what we fucking sound like. <laughs> sound like mental cases do you, can you actually not breathe and you're like trying to breathe or you're just doing it to do it no a lot of times if i have a tickle I'll go no i think it's a habit but it's all funny it because became habit from that that probably in that's actually funny i was gonna say that probably is a comforting sound to me and then i really remembered being a kid oh, really? and hearing you in the bathroom and always going and it didn't bother me because you were my mom when i was a kid so like i, I grew up and that became comforting to hear you in the bathroom doing that i remember one time i think it got on her nerves so bad because i heard her from her room down the hallway going stop doing that stop <laughs> sniveling <laughs> and i'm like shut up <laughs> well, could you go <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, yeah. I do that now. I do that. That's not a habit, though. That's just as you get older, you get a lot of phlegm buildup no, and mucus. Mom, and I, I get that every that time. Is. Every time after I eat, especially if it's has like a lot of sour, oh, yeah, sour cream or right. dairy, yep. really bad. I think if you're allergic to like sugar or like oh, not allergic, but like it does something to your system and you get a buildup of mucus or something like that. A lot of people have that problem. So I just try not to drink cream or dairy or or e even though I love cheese. 
So I could not live and without sugar. cream, dairy, and cheese. Yeah, I know. I could live on cheese. I was just telling him. But yeah, that's my lovely habits. And none of you kids had anything like that. So you're lo- very lucky. No, I only had 10 million other things instead. I, was say, yeah, I only had separation anxiety and make myself throw up every other day. Well, yeah, which gave me emetophobia. Oh, and then I had and then I had zits, but I had what are you laughing at? Her? What? Oh. No, not your laughing zit. At I wasn't laughing you, at your zits. So then I this thing really bugged me because you know, psoriasis, you have it kind of runs in our family and, and eczema. But I had these little tiny like in the winter I would develop these little teeny tiny red pimples. Like not pimples, it's but from like dry skin. Bumps. Yeah. I, and I, they would be like thick and I have to and then shorts and short it's sleeves called, uh, isn't so it I'd like keratosis I, Car- I don't know if that's something what it's called. like that i don't know i just called it well people it's called it they skin. named me they named skin. me pimple legs and arms that's so sad <laughs> well, <Mom. laughs> it was terrible the bus was terrible i remember God, this Bob. one yeah, yeah, would I be like bullied. here's pimple arms and legs the bus or was legs the place and arms because there was no teachers pimple girl watching. i'm like <gasps> and then true. i broke out as a teenager that's true because what? that's when where i got bullied for having psoriasis by the yeah. a boy that rode my bus it's because the only adult is driving the bus literally like all the kids are bullied for acne i remember also, this boy because i'd have to wear makeup to cover it on the bus this boy every day would like do this weird position like he'd put his hands back like this and like act like he was gonna hit me and i was so scared of him like he would yep. do it every mm-hmm. single day That's, but he never hit you do you remember i don't know if maybe he did once i i don't know but i like literally was like afraid to go on the bus and be near him because i was like he's gonna do that to me yeah do you there, remember claudia oh. when we worked at the restaurant we worked at and i'm gonna say his name just cut it out but when would come up to me and grab me aggressively by the waist and go like that and i'd freak Ugh. out every time and at first i was like i would laugh it off because i was like he's just joking around and then after like months and months of it i started to be like you need to stop doing this to me it's not funny it makes me really uncomfortable or like i said something in a serious way and then he finally stopped doing it but he would literally i'd be weird. standing at the host stand like focus on something and he'd come up and do that and i'm already really sensitive to touch and really ticklish but he would do that and I would literally like jump out of my skin. That's what he liked doing because he probably thought it was funny. But also. Yeah. And then he'd also go, you want to meet my girlfriend? You want to meet my girlfriend? Ew. Mm. What's yeah. wrong with people? Yeah, you should have smacked him. There was a boy that would. I was 17. I was telling Brandon <laughs> this too, men. Kennedy. There was a boy. You missed all my good stories. that had them on the floor. <laughs> laughing. Well, she, yeah, she also had a little bit of alcohol that morning. Yeah. We yeah. were having mimosa. And our, it's just champagne. Whatever. No. Yeah. It was champagne with a with little a little bit of orange juice. fucking yeah. tint of orange yeah but dakota really didn't hear the stories either so she, she was had dying. tears coming out of she her was eyes dying. she said she used to <laughs> what? she said she used to i said why didn't you tell him this she used to put things up her nose like jelly beans <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really dangerous like if you're like dakota i had to tell them if you breathe that in like you can get she said get she it almost removed. she said she took a baby bottle nipple and like detached it and put it up her nose and it got stuck and she was like trying to pull it out what and she fuck? finally got it out she was ever since then she stopped was she? young pretty young that is weird everybody had their weird things oh well, we That's all know i had mine <clears throat> yeah this you guys boy were... this boy used to roll um in the winter he used to make these ice balls and he would put them oh, behind God. the bush so right when we got off the bus my friend chrissy and i would just like get scared of whatever he's gonna do chase her into a sticker bush or whatever one time he brought out these it was like a mound of ice balls and started throwing them at us right when we got off the bus and we were running for our lives to our homes. <laughs> what the fuck? She couldn't even make it to her house. Could I had to make her come into He's hitting my house and everything. <gasps> What a with little it. shit. Yeah, they were they that were really just had her Yeah, but also you. when dad was younger no, he know. did That's all kinds of shit to... like that. Do you remember I don't know if we should put this in the video, but dad would say when he was like 19, him and his friends would drive and, and they'd roll the window down and and find someone with their window down and put have a fire extinguisher and, and do it on them yeah. in their car them in the face no he would ask them to roll your he'd be like can you roll your i wonder down? if that was dad's idea or well, if it was like they would also they would also, they would also drive by and roll a window down and have a baseball bat and then knock people's mailboxes oh, over with the baseball that bat I he told me that. i feel like that was a common thing he told me that he was proud of it you could get away with that back then though <laughs> yeah. now if you did that yeah. you're, you're oh. on ring camera well, he was oh, yeah. he was the black sheep of the family back then so I, that's why I liked him. Yeah, he, he was, was the, the only boy and he was rotten as hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he was bored. That's so he funny because boredom. he grew up with only sisters and he turned out the way he did. And you grew up only with sisters and you turned out. Well, oh, this is actually yeah. this is actually a question I wanted to ask mom. So this comedian Shane Gillis was on Saturday Night Live and Kennedy showed me the video of him. And he made this joke basically saying that like little boys are like their mom's gay best friend. 
So I wanted to ask you, mom, was I like your gay best friend before these two were born? Okay, no. Cause but you were, I, no, <laughs> but you did get into my makeup case one time. And well, yeah. I come in and the makeup case is all open. It, it was one of those like fishing. I had to use like a fishing one where it like has three tiers and you pull it up and it I steps. Remember. Yeah. And of drawers. And um, I come in one day and I'm like, oh, what are you doing? And he was like, I'm doing their makeup. Aww. And they, you guys had makeup all over you. And he had like red lipstick <laughs> all over the place. He did his own. <gasps> oh, was that, was so that good? Cute. Was that good? No. No. What do you That's mean? No. So sweet. No, no I was thinking about this. He had eyeliner saw... on, like on, like over here. <laughs> <laughs> so he would watch me do makeup and then do that. So if I saw my little kid self now, I would be like, that kid's probably gay. No, no. no. You were, you I like, thought it was normal. Artistic, but I, but, but, I, but I, I wasn't though. I just had like you super. Were, I, had, remember? I had feminine qualities, probably no. because I, I was see... always around women. I've even seen comments on YouTube, like. Brandon's pr- I think he's gay. No, I just think it's just because you were around women more than you are. I don't know around what it just, is. You it just must- dad. when gay when men see when gay <laughs> when men seem gay, they're almost always more tolerable, and they also prefer female company as opposed to male company. Which you said you think women are better than men. Say it. When did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you putting your he just words would never in my mouth argue. Say it. Huh? <laughs> he would just never say anything against like. He would never bring Brandon that up. Brandon must us. remain neutral in all stances. I just of like life. don't care that much too. It's but like, I, I don't feel know. like like when when people have kids like boys and they're like playing with dolls or they're want to wear women's clothes. I don't find that anything like oh my kid might be gay or whatever. I don't see that. Why does yeah. that playing with makeup must mean it's, gay? I know. Exactly. It's just so experimenting odd. with things. It's but like, also it's like deal. you didn't force anything on Brandon. He got into the makeup on his because own volition. <laughs> he saw what I was doing. He's yeah. just following me. Exactly. That's a very normal thing know. to want to copy. I, if I did some think- makeup right now, I could like i could do all your makeup i'm curious i could i've been seeing you do it forever i've also done makeup on you several times now i don't think you could do it now but i mean maybe you could do like a like decent you you know are you you testing me do you you want to see me do do a decent job i thought we did do a video like that back in my house yeah and i'm pretty sure i did a good job all the boys did make up look like a fucking clown remember that you just look like a clown why was i trying blue scrubs oh you think you made me put them on yeah, what was that about? I have to go back and watch. That. I don't know. They're he funny. did the. It was so weird. And then he posted a photo of me looking really bad, like on my Instagram, because I like lost something. I don't know. It was a video that. What? Made. I don't even remember that. The things Brandon would make us do in those videos. Oh my! Okay, at least you didn't have to wrestle on the ground like a pig. In I didn't the do. Bike. I didn't. Do anything. I did not have to believe do that. you agreed to do that. Holy yeah, shit! That's the thing. I, I, was, I, was, I was showing Kate videos last night, and I was like, I can't believe anyone agreed to do things like this. With there was a video of Nick and Corey dressed up as uh, oh yeah, like elves, the elves the, from Harry the Potter, oh, okay. crawling, crawling out of the basement, and then Kennedy that's turns not- around and she's in the kitchen, and she's like, okay, <laughs> and it has like millions of views on TikTok. Yeah, I'm it's like, really funny though. And then was... Claudia dressed up as a pig. Claudia and Devorah dressed up as pigs <laughs> and wrestled in the mud in the rain outside. <laughs> that was actually so fucking horrible. And I wanted to kill dad because he poured like freezing water on me and I felt Why anger come over my body. Because I think they had water to make it more muddy. And oh. like, I don't even know what you guys were talking about. It was about. literally, we you were never on saw our, that? No. We oh were on God, our hands and he's coming. It's horrible. I couldn't believe it either. I, I, I was, when I was watching it. You never no, posted it? No, it did get posted. I, it's in a vlog or something. Oh, we didn't post no, it. I swear so it did get posted. No, it's in you, a it vlog. Got, yes, it did. It's posted. It's it posted. posted. Yeah, because yeah. I remember I watched like, it. I watched it last night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember. It was in like overall or something. Yeah, oh. and I remember I watched it and I was like thinking like it was like a year later and I was like, I can't believe this is on the internet. It was around the time she met you, actually. We went out to a house out in the country, and like Nick was riding on a um a little motorcycle, and your dad kicked him out. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he was like dressed as a Bigfoot or something. Yeah. There's a lot. of Yeah, stuff I remember on having to show Dakota like some of the videos, and I remember going past it. So no, it was just for a it. vlog because then we right. we tried like moonshine. Remember? Oh that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we definitely started doing weird stuff. I was getting into like fever dream territory at one point. Yeah, but people liked it. I I yeah. There's, some, there's something for everybody. Weird. I think that's why I, I, <laughs> there's something for everybody. I think it's that's like why the why really weird it. part of the internet. You're like, you find us. You're like, who the fuck's this family? Oh, okay. So okay. okay. So we put it in another video because it wasn't good as a standalone. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, yeah. that's when I never agreed to yeah, shit like that. Yeah, we filmed the intro. No, you wouldn't even better. come to me for he, stuff he like that. Not to ask you. <laughs> I don't know why I agreed to it. I think because I knew people found it funny. And Sometimes I was like, I'll you just... agreed to things that I was so utterly shocked you agreed to. It was because it was with Dev. And if I just her think and Dev I didn't did it care. together, like, then they like, didn't care. I really don't give a fuck. Like I've done yeah. the most embarrassing things. How did I approach you to like film that? Was I was like Claude? What did I text you? I was like, Claude, are you down to like dress up as a pig and and wrestle in the mud? Like, what did I say? I don't remember. Honestly, <laughs> how do you convince pig? somebody of that? Were they I think you were just costumes? like you, you wanted us to do mud wrestling, and I think we were like, all right, fine, we'll do it. But I don't think we realized it was going to be. Like, I think a cold rainy day. That was still their crazy phase. Yeah. I also thought that you yeah, were going to get fake mud. I didn't think you were literally going to put us in a pile of. <laughs> we wet... literally like stirred a pile of mud like in outside the woods. in the woods. Oh my, oh my god, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry we did that. And there was yeah. rocks and like sticks in it, and like it hurt. <laughs> Yeah, she got like cuts. And then we went in and had to like shower in this That's Airbnb okay. and there was Brandon mud used everywhere. Brandon to try to destroy my house, so. Yeah, it's that okay. true. The no, I remember I was like thinking about this when we were younger and you would go like work for the day or something. Brandon would get in this weird thing. Where he's like, all right, we're going to organize the entire kitchen, like top to bottom. Remember, what? And then halfway through, he would give up and not want to do it anymore. <laughs> and the dishes were like all over the countertops and we had to like somehow put it all back because he started this thing of wanting I to do it. made it worse. It's literally like me. That's what I do. Yeah, but then you would get home and, and we'd finally finish and he'd be like, all right, look, mom, look what we did and like showing you everything Aww. he did. Like we, did I remember I like we organized all the cups. That. I'm yeah, I mean, you were happy. You, you would, really? Like, oh, I think I, even if I didn't like it, I probably was like, "Oh, thank you." He would make me and Kendi. I mean, pretend. no, he did a good job. Oh, really? He must have. He done just something always wanted then. to quit. He would get distracted halfway through and start doing something else. And I'm like, <laughs> there's yeah. like fuck. Brandon started cups projects all over the and not finishing. Yep. He That's always right. did stuff like that when we were younger. Literally, he like Brandon, wanted to Brandon get impress you. Random right. extreme Aww. bursts of motivation, and then halfway through, it disappears. That literally is, happens to me with everything I do. I think that's a <laughs> symptom of ADD. You definitely were a mama's boy. I do remember that. Oh, what? Yeah. Mommy, can we? I do donut? remember that. One of you the stories are. that stands out oh, so God. much. I wouldn't even. I still am. <laughs> I don't know. Well, about he still breastfeeds, so that, that counts for yeah, something. Okay, don't say that. People are gonna believe it. <laughs> they already do believe hey, it. It's too I, I late. I gotta distract from all the hatred okay, on me. I, I, I breastfed <laughs> yeah, him. I breastfed him <laughs> until he was all. They would be like, "Oh, Brandon breastfed till he was eleven. Mm, no, he was. Kenny, he was kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you? Fifteen months. Fifteen years. Tops. Months. Corey. Months. Open your ears. That's Go clean old. your ears out. Fifteen, 15 months. months is good. Can I talk? Can I talk at fifteen months? Uh, so like what was like, mom? Like, give me the boom. This is a good no. batch. You go milk, <laughs> milk, a good batch, milk, and point. Well, I can milk. actually talk. <laughs> when you started being able to talk in sentences, <laughs> that's when it's done. Milk. Wait, when did yeah. Claudia stop? Uh, like probably six months. But a year. She mean? didn't love it as much. What about me? Ken- Kennedy probably never even laughed. Kennedy was trying. No, you were. Claudia trying, was like, "This is not Alani new." Listen, I cannot. You were this. trying to stop at a year, and I was like trying to force it. Because I didn't want to stop. So then you didn't want to stop. Then I couldn't stop. Oh, you. she was addicted to Binky too. Oh, you, you yeah. got past a year and then it was like going on 15 months. And I'm like, okay, we're going to stop. And you did not want to. Yeah, you love sucking yeah. things. I That's, knew it would make you smart. Claudia would choke on things. Yeah. She did not <laughs> like things in her mouth <laughs> at all as a baby. Why you look over at Jesse? She, she, she got a gag reflex. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I still miss sucking on binkies. Aww. I still sometimes wish that that was normalized. Look, I, I honestly, oh, at first it was sucking on my thumb, right? And then it was binkies. Yeah, I didn't like. I do miss that too having long, strawberry you milk in a, a in a sippy cup. You oh know yeah, the we love cups? strawberry yeah. milk. You know the sippy cups that have when they have like the little plug thing in them, so they have like the resistance to it. Yeah, I used to like drink, to, yeah. suck that thing down, and be breathing through my nose like a little like. I don't even know why. Yeah. I, remember, I remember you had a fit like, one time because I wasn't making your strawberry milk fast enough <laughs> and you were freaking out and I'm like, calm down. Oh my God. That's when I realized she's addicted to strawberry milk. Well, what did she do? Was she like yelling at you? Well, first her little voice was so cute. Aww. First she would just say, strawberry milk, strawberry milk. And I'd be like, okay, okay. And I was doing something. I got sidetracked and she went, strawberry milk, strawberry milk. And starts screaming oh it. And then all of a sudden she starts crying and she's like, strawberry milk. And it be- just became this whole thing. And I'm like, I can okay, so calm down, that. calm down. That's where my sugar addiction started. Yeah, it was an oh, addicted thing. Was. Mine was, was chocolate. That's addicted. funny. Mine was chocolate milk. I like chocolate milk too, but I think I really liked strawberry no, milk. I remember how to buy that strawberry stuff all the time. I don't even know how we got into it because I was not, that's so gross. It's got so yeah. many chemicals in it. 
I it back then it probably didn't have a lot of chemicals. I don't know. Now I guess it, it was her. Does Hershey's make it? No, yeah, it was, it was Nesquik. It. Oh, yeah, it was Nesquik. No, the, I no, think it, it had the was little Hershey's. rabbit on it. No, the Nesquik. Nesquik. No, we had Ovaltine chocolate milk. No, I remember that because I was trying to get healthy. <laughs> That's not healthy. It's better than I, regular. I think Chocolate one time I took mix. a spoonful of Ovaltine and just put it in my mouth. That's weird because that's like dry. Yeah, that's really dry. Yeah, I was just choking it. It's like the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> yeah. The Ovaltine was good. I, I have a weird that. memory of they that. They still make it. Oh, Listen to this. I was watching Roadhouse last night. The, is it I, I watched good? the new one. Well, I watched the new one with Corey two days ago. Wait, and then what's, last what's night, Roadhouse? Well, listen, listen, listen. What's listen. Roadhouse? It's, it's a, a new movie. movie. You don't know what Roadhouse is? Well, refresh my memory. Okay, it's an old it's movie about, about fighting, like bar yeah, fighting. it's like a bar fight. Like the, guy, the main Patrick guy, Swayze Dalton is a it. bouncer. And mm-hmm. then listen, they made listen, a new listen, one. Listen. So I, I watched the the new one that they just made as like Conor McGregor and um uh what's his name? Jake Gyllenhaal. And this one's there for two seconds. Yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, there it we watched that one two days ago last night i watched the one from it's, it was made in 89 with patrick swayze i watched it with oh, kate yeah. oh you did you watched yeah. it that was one of my favorites 80s and 90s movies dad's favorite. are way better than oh, yeah. modern movies there really? is no fucking comparison the new movie is so cheesy compared oh, to the it has old all one the CGI it wasn't stuff cheesy in it. but you can just tell are that you, they like c- are you fucking kidding me the only cheesy part was conor mcgregor oh okay. Claudia likes cheesy I've stuff. You have it. to keep that okay. in mind. He, here's what I think happens. You didn't I, like the I, movie? No, no, no. I think they spent all their money on Jake Gyllenhaal and fucking Post Malone, who's in it for two seconds, and Conor McGregor, who got $5.5 million for being in that movie, for just going... No, he walked yeah. in and said... What? Wait, what, does he <laughs> what, what was his lines? I got a tip for you. Don't <laughs> let anybody get this close. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyway, he got paid voice. five point five million dollars. I want to watch that. it now. No, you it's watch good. the old you one. Watch it. Patrick Swayze. Got, no, Patrick, Patrick Swayze, Swayze is badass. so much more of a fucking badass. Yeah, but I'm not watching that. it to be serious. Like, watch, I, I want to be entertained. One. Okay, it was entertaining, but like, watch it is the old entertaining. one. So what? What they did it, is they spent all the money on those three actors, and then everyone else must have been like a B actor. They yeah. had no acting abilities. Yeah, like the girl who owned the bar was monotone. She felt like a side yeah, character, like a side mission in like Grand Theft Auto. That I don't get though, because there are so many unknown actors that are really, really talented it feels well, they like they wanted it to get views obviously maybe maybe it's like you never know that could have been she could have had like a grandfather that worked on the movie she had to have i was like she's so fucking sometimes boring. there are really bad actors in like well i feel like she didn't need did a, you know she didn't need a big role she was very like not in it that she wasn't the star of it did you know that patrick yeah, swayze's wife mean. played was she in that with him actor? that was the girlfriend no oh the blonde yeah yeah, that was his real Claudia, wife. Watch the original one. I don't know. Something about that movie felt off to me. They they CGI'd some of the fight scenes and stuff. I, it just felt weird. Uh-oh. Did you see the bridge collapse thing? Oh, oh yeah, that was crazy. That's literally God. the first thing I saw That's... when I woke up this morning. Oh, was, yeah, there was... I, was, I, I was so surprised that it came from you. I had to read it a couple times to make sure it I wasn't know. her. I was like, this I'm is... like, she's sending me a news because, article. Because I woke right up now. and the top notification on my phone was a ring neighborhood notification about it. And I was like, bridge collapse? Like, yeah. that sounds insane. And so then I click on it and I was like, holy yeah, that's like a major yeah, my bridge. My nurse friend sent it to me when I woke up. On our well, highway. Listen to this. What happened? I, I, imagine this. Imagine you're driving at 1 a.m. Because I was thinking, because I've, I've driven across bridges with Kate before imagine. at like 1 in the morning to go to like Wawa or something when we were coming back from yeah. Ocean City. Mm. So imagine you're driving across the bridge. You're one of like seven cars on a bridge. Wait, where is it's that dark. bridge? It's at the end. Well, okay. Our Baltimore Beltway goes in a circle. So it's here and then... It's like you can go this way to get to it or this way to get to it. But if it's not there, everybody has to go this way and this way. It's like mm. you now. It's like a horseshoe. And anyway, there's a bridge near us that's pretty long. And it's up by Dundalk. And I guess it was uh, um, j- j- miles. just imagine it's it's 1 a.m. Yeah. and there's seven cars. on. The, you're one of seven cars on this bridge. And all of a sudden you see a, <sighs> a huge cargo ship. Which apparently That's lost power. Cars, or yeah, it lost people. power twice. It was seven people. It's seven anyway, people that might be so just, far. They don't. You're on this bridge. Investigating. No, they, this, they this recovered cargo, two, and there might be seven more. Yeah, this cargo ship basically hits this bridge, and honestly, in the course of like ten seconds, like a domino effect, the entire bridge collapses. That was what was insane. Yeah. Like, that was what was insane. Completely. It, it looked like on the video, it literally looked like it was made out of like paper yeah. straws. You know what it looks like? like you remember news? that game, those bridge sim- simulation yeah, games where you have to build a bridge, and if it if it doesn't work, it just completely yeah. collapsed. Yeah, people at first thought it was AI when they first saw it. it. They're like, fake. It, it looks Yeah, CGI. they didn't know for sure. So they had to like, and then they you realized You know the crazy part is that they have like a camera that's like 24 7 watching. Yeah, I know. And this, so they saw it. Well, how, like, how are you going to stop a fucking cargo well, ship? Well, apparently oh. what I heard the latest is that they of... knew, they saw it and they were warning people to not go on the okay, bridge. What does this remind What movie does this remind you of, though? On there. What recent what? movie does this remind you of? A huge cargo ship. Is it the one that the, the Obamas produced? Yeah. 
Oh, oh. The, what, with Julia Roberts. The end of the Except world it movie. doesn't leave, leave the, the world, world behind. behind. Yeah. It reminds me of Leave the World Behind when the yeah. giant cargo ship ends up docking on the beach because they lose control of it or whatever and everyone's running from it. And it's like these are these ships are so fucking powerful. Anybody you need to Corey, you need to overlay a video of the bridge collapsing so people can see because it is I've literally never seen anything like I've that. Never, Baltimore's never seen anything like that. It, the it's way it collapses the way it collapses so suddenly, it yeah. literally looks like the bridge is made of popsicle sticks. Yeah. Well, like like I was telling Brandon, when you go over, when anytime I go over a bridge, even like when we went to Ocean City and stuff like that over the Bay Bridge, I would open up my yeah. sunroof and I would crack all the windows or yeah. open them all the way depending on what oh, the weather was. Like. I remember that. Because if that shit went over, I'm going out the windows with my kids and out the sunroof with my kids. <laughs> It's too yeah. scary. The pressure builds. You can't get out. And these, yeah, but although think about these people, how like the nights here have been in like the 30s or I don't 20s. give a shit. That sunroof's coming. No, open. I'm saying, but can you imagine? <laughs> I'm not talking about you. Oh, I thought you meant how cold it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. Imagine how cold it is for anyone that did oh. end up falling in the water. Oh, how horrible. brutal that horrible. was. And that's why horrible, I only horrible, take horrible. cold showers. So I'm prepared when I go horrible. down. What about, do you think we should not right. talk about this? The you Nickelodeon need documentary because I watched it with Scarlett. Mm. I don't know. It's kind of we'll talk about it afterwards. <clears throat> oh man, that's like just horrible. I just can't even like now. I'm going to be hooked on well, TV it, it, for another crazy. week. No. It's crazy how long no. something takes to build. Like it probably took them like months and months took, or, or no, years. It took to, them five to years the to build it. Five in the years 70s. to build it, and then it collapses in instantly. ten seconds. It goes down. But that's yeah. Same, but th- that just makes me think like that's wild. Like, Forty-seven. Was the infrastructure of it not no. done mm-hmm. well? Because no, 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 no. no. A cargo ship ran into it. Like, rem- do you remember in school when they made us build the bridges out of like straws? Were you in that yeah, class? How how is it not? I I did. I wasn't in that class, but I basically, remember. Be- basically, people doing- <laughs> the engineering on a bridge is like super Actually, impressive. Actually, no, I was. If, I, if I remove, did take that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody had to take. Engineering. If you remove like one thing from it, the Wasn't whole thing collapses. Well, like, first of all, look how big that ship is. That was huge. God only knows what that weighs, and it hit a pillar. It didn't hit. It's supposed to go under, you know, many of those types of boats, yeah, cargo ships go tall. under. Yeah, well, but I don't they, understand or, or why. It went, no, it came more on when it starts to go down. That makes me wonder why would it they even build a, a bridge with and make it that short? Why wouldn't they make it long enough? Or because you can't, enough? you have to go like this. It's not going to go like this and this. It's got to build. I thought it was like a thing though, that you're up. not, that certain things aren't allowed to drive under there. Like why would no, they? No, that bridge is by the port, Baltimore port. So bridges come and go there. I mean, uh, boats come and go all the time. They just go in the middle. And, and they so fit imagine a, underneath of a it. boat does that to the Bay Bridge. Then the Bay Bridge is coming down. Which is what, three, scary, four miles long? Don't even but the say Bay that. Bridge is also... No, I don't think the Bay Bridge would come well, down listen like to that, this. Though. This Ooh. is the... So, That's just not like that movie... Port, though, but you never know. Just like that movie, I was listening to something. If if the U.S. was ever under attack from other country, it wouldn't be a direct attack. It would be like an something internal like, attack. Right. So that means shutting off like the electric power grid. Right. Shutting Ugh. off... Um, oh, that is so scary. Shutting off the water even. supply like or, like, or, or like the waste supply. So everything just builds up and is all disgusting and like terrible and a bunch of other like infrastructure type things. And uh, you know how people are like when COVID happened, everyone was going insane. There was, we were talking about this like last week, there was no toilet paper. Yeah, I know. There was no Crazy. anything to buy. Like every, every, people were panicking from that. So imagine if there was absolutely no electricity. Yeah. And That's sewage why people wasn't build working. bunkers. Where'd Jesse go? People would go insane. Bathroom. Oh, I got to tell him to build a bunker. Well, no, I and was you. actually thinking this. One thing that they I got to go underground. One thing that I actually want to do, and this isn't just being some like weird like conspiracy theorist or something. I just think it's good to be prepared. I think it would actually be fun to build something like that, like off in like a location that no one knows about that you can go to that has like a house. It has like uh, yeah, a think, big storage I mean, of like honestly, gasoline and like generators. No, like, I would like that it to be. I would like it to be under my house. Like you go in a yeah in yeah, a tunnel your house in is the too close to like other civilization uh, yeah yeah but we have nine acres of land of our land that we could build under my whole opinion on on if that happens is like i don't want to be living in a bunker like that's gonna be a horrible quality of life i would be in a a constant state of anxiety i don't want to live like that i'm not talking about a bunker though i'm talking about just like a place that is secure and has the things that you need can we have a bunker okay well listen listen yeah you could use electricity i listen to a game room there's a true crime case of this guy who I hope I get the details right, but he spent eight years building a bunker in in deep into the woods in these mountains. He built the bunker in the middle of like this mountain. Like he spent all of these years himself going to this place and he had a wife and a daughter and he vlogged. I think this took place in like 2005 ish 
but he vlogged his whole process of making this bunker and like his thoughts and being like well yeah and he would say like oh he's he's ugly and he didn't get dealt the best cards in life you know he's got a fucking wife and daughter and he ends up murdering his wife and daughter oh and then God. escaping to the bunker because he oh i think this was in 2012 he thought the world was gonna end oh yeah, oh, yeah. He, there's every, every there's, few years there's like a group of conspiracy theorists yeah. who think the world's gonna end. but <laughs> he and he thought that the police wouldn't be able to find him because there was no way to to like find the location of his bunker just in the middle of these super dense woods in a literal mountain and they ended up locating his bunker and they had to wait for like I think 48 hours they they tried to like tear gas him out and he didn't come out and then eventually I think they ended up killing him or something but it was just like just crazy that people even go go to the it's a lot of work to build out your own bunker yeah, I'm telling yeah. you I wonder what happened to the bunker it's, it was so but sa- I'm imagining it was so like- sad though because the wife like and the wife and the daughter were like I don't know it was just really really fucked anyway we have a yeah, I think you, we have I think a back room Jesse, in our basement. Where are you? Let Claudia talk. Yeah, can, can I get Mom, one word you out? You don't even listen. Sorry, go ahead. No, because I'm thinking about building the bunker. You were just talking over me too. No, I wasn't. I was telling a story. Oh, <laughs> God. Bring the shell. Bring the shell. <laughs> Literally, um, we have a concrete room in our basement, and I'm thinking, like, how cool would it be to have mm. cut a little hole in it, turn it into like a a tunnel slide so you take the lid off and then you slide down the tunnel slide and then you're in just like a whole room that has like a kitchen wow a bathroom like an entertainment center i wonder how hard that that ground is you mean to enjoy even if the world's not ending no just for like safety i feel like that would be really cool don't you guys have a lot of rocks in your yeah grass you would have to get it like reinforced and everything i watch a a lot of work i watch a lot of survival and camping videos i think i could survive I think I could survive in the wild for at least like a few days. Kennedy, I, <laughs> I would days. give you 20 minutes. Yeah. Until uh, bugs I, I, are in the I would give you 20 minutes. Yeah, you. I'd be freaking out, but I, eventually I'd get used to it and I'd, and I'd adapt. I noticed with what, myself. How would you get your food? After a, you would you would not go hunting. Can you imagine Kendi no. going hunting in the She'd rainforest for food? She'd eat poison berries and end yeah, up. She would no, no, find yeah, diarrhea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you get like explosive right. diarrhea from a berry. Yeah. Probably, and then I'd just be like, "All right, time to die." <laughs> <laughs> no, imagine you build a bunker and then you're sitting in it like thinking you're safe and the whole thing just collapses on your oh, head. That's, that's the thing. I don't. Oh my God. That's what I. Uh, whenever, whenever in like movies or like in cases that I listen to when people are on the run, I'm like, I could not live like that. I can't live in a constant state of anxiety. I already have anxiety about things that like don't actually matter. I know. Like, if I had that much anxiety, I literally don't know how. I'm not somebody who can function with anxiety. Well, like, you just go I into crumble. survival mode. You, you see, see, you don't experience things like that. So you're just mm. not conditioned for it. It would be yeah. so scary, like, though. Like, anxiety is worse for you because you don't have constant anxiety. So when you do have it, it's it's really bad. What happens right. when you run out of like medicine and stuff like that? You'd have to like stock oh up. Oh my god! Shit ton I of medicine. You don't have my, medicine. I have withdra- no, you I can't have medicine. I would honestly have to go and like rob Wegman's pharmacy. Well, like, okay, like, that's the, that's the one problem. That's I would the need one, as much right. fucking Zoloft now, as I could right. get. That's what I'm saying. That, that's like, the one problem. The that? fact that like 50 percent of people are on like medications right now, yeah, or that's probably, what I'm probably more. I know full- that um, if the world ever did was ever, ever coming to an end or something bad right. really happened, then and they're depending on that. Ooh. Yeah, that's scary. Like, well, everybody the, the would US just start is going withdrawing. down fast. Yeah, no, I'd be dizzy as shit. I thought he'd be in bed with a migraine. Yeah, I would that just, was just so suck. I would just need to jog in place Literally, and do my iPad. The, I would I would get so much stress, I would end up having a flare up all, all my oh. body. My health would rapidly decline because it's all dependent on anxiety. That's another thing that people uh, listen, I don't want to get into the comments on the weed video, but <laughs> <laughs> um people didn't seem to take into account that I have a chronic illness that weed helps me with. And um I forget what the rest of my thought was. I think it's the best you've ever been, honestly, right now. Thank you, mom. Yeah. I'm not (laughs) just saying that. I mean it. I mean, I've watched you change and go through all kinds of pain and hell and all that. And this is literally the best. I do not believe that. I, I Look, I'm all for medicine if you need it. But if you don't and you if you can get away from the harsh medications of the Western medications that the doctors try to prescribe, I'm more about like... A I natural agree. weed plant compared I think to if someone can find something that works for them down. and it's not affecting anybody else, then go for it. Yeah, and it's also, the best I've seen you. So. A lot of people were saying too that, um, that uh, listing the negative side effects about weed, and I pr- 
pretty sure he said in the video, like, I'm sure weed does have its negative side effects. I never said that it's, well, I mean, maybe I did. I don't the know. The thing is, people like, don't realize lost. because you've never really, like, sat down and talked about it in depth, but they don't realize how mm-hmm. sick you actually were. Yeah. Like, yeah. people people yeah. think, oh, like, she has a chronic illness, but, like, they don't understand that you were literally, like, hospitalized for yeah. Yeah, I remember days and days fl- at a time. Yeah, I remember in Florida at one point, I feel like you were in the hospital for, like, one or two weeks. It, it felt oh like God, that. Oh, my God. It was so rough and you couldn't get back to maryland because you nope. couldn't leave the hospital nope. to go on, she, get, on, get back on the plane she was diagnosed at basically 15 <clears throat> and 15 to 17 was hell because we were in and out of the doctor's offices and then soon she was taking harsh medications which were reacting badly to her body with her body in her body and then it was side effect after side effect after side effect which sent us through a spiraling <laughs> hospital visit a lot of emergency night you know for us Let's it's wait, 9-1-1. we don't have to get into it How, yeah but i'm just what, saying what was your longest that, hospital stay that seven days I think it was seven days but then we got a break well it was yeah it was in florida right it really was no i thought the longest one was at home what do you mean remember back when she like stayed at sinai i think it was oh, i think it probably um, was in florida i think it was but florida, i also though. don't remember well here's it was the a thing. Seven, it was here's a full week you'll like this you'll like this because i know you care about like anti-aging stuff a lot and all that kind of stuff but anyway because of and and i know you've been talking about the ai stuff because you listen to other podcasts could kind of talk about it but anyway because of the uh, exponential growth of technology this this one guy who's who i was listening to who's like he's like 68 or something but he's been an ai for forever uh he was saying by the year 2029 so right now for every because of technology every year that you age you get point like four years back or something something around that what? so let's say people used to die at like 55 now they die at like 80 yeah right because of technology that oh, might be okay. wrong, but that's that's the gist. By 2029, for every year that you age, you'll get a year back, which will pretty much halt the aging process. And the reason is because when you need medication, they'll be able to make you a Kennedy medication just for you using AI, taking into consideration your when blood work to and all of your... It could happen in the next like few years. Well, see, that's the good side to AI. There's a lot of other. There's yeah, it's pretty stuff, cool because like, if, if you forth. have a problem, then yeah. a medication can be created for you yeah, that removes all possible side I effects. I had the thought when I was doing my taxes of like, AI should be able to fucking do this for me. I should not be calculating Pretty my totals. You can. You're just not in the right Well, I can. You just have to go use it to do it. Yeah. Calculating your totals for what? For taxes. Oh, I know. God, I've been putting that off. I really don't feel like doing it. Yeah, it's a pain. <laughs> well, yeah, but I can't because I'm with a, I'm with a new tax company now and mm. they're very specific about what they want me to do. I'm like, yeah, no thanks. I'll stick to Bobby. <laughs> taxes, exactly. Taxes especially <laughs> suck when you make Con- when you're a content creator because yeah. it works very differently than like a standard yeah. job so yeah how about the year when i had to do double taxes because oh, i didn't know what that <laughs> taxes even I was existed so, <laughs> i was so scared to <laughs> tell like, you he's like, what the fuck are taxes i literally <laughs> right did not know what taxes i was were. literally scared I remember the mail coming and looking at it and thinking like how am i gonna tell her this like i'm so scared right now yeah my my one of my biggest mental breakdowns i've ever had in my life when i was 21 half of the reason for that breakdown was because i had to do double taxes that year and i was convinced i was going to go bankrupt (laughs) (laughs) and i was like looking at my account i think it took like probably 70 percent of the money in my bank oh yeah it's hard which is literally terrifying and i was like oh my god well my youtube views are down and all the money just got taken out of my account so might as well end it (laughs) i used to get money back back when i worked normal jobs no my life oh please (laughs) What'd you say, Claude? I used to get money back back when I um worked normal jobs and now I just Oh, that was great when you get that pay paycheck. Massive, oh, yeah, massive that's true. That, I remember that bonus paycheck. I, got like, six, yes. I remember I got six hundred dollars when I worked at Glendon Grill and I was like, Holy fuck, how the fuck did I get six hundred dollars? This is more than like three paychecks put together i think i got like two thousand once and i was so happy yeah, I, I remember that when people learn taxes real quick well, yeah, when you when you start when you, you have your own business or you work like freelance or you basically just like work for yourself like as an independent contractor they call it you end up owing because you're not paying every time that you get paid they're not automatically taking the taxes out so when tax season rolls around you have to pay that chunk of money that you did not already pay you can pay them yeah. monthly if you want to, though. Well, yeah. no, you can pay quarterly. I mean, I guess you can do monthly. If you're making a decent amount of money, quarterly is the best. But yeah, so. Yeah, 
just suck. Taxes it. suck, but it is what it does. <laughs> Should we so wrap it up? Gotta pay talking taxes. About how I'm moving. Also gotta well, buy well, a wedding. I, I had one more thing. I, I, know I have two Brandon, topics. I know one, I, I wanted to talk suck. about moving, but I have another one that I wanted to. You're gonna have to save it. No, no, it's no, 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 too no, long. I, no, not that one. How it's long have you been recording for? We gotta clickbait this fucking video with something. Actually, We're going. <laughs> I have this idea to rank your your ex boy we're gonna rate your ex boyfriends oh, okay God. but Jeez. but to not reveal their identity i categorize Ooh. them into stereotypes oh i'm really or, curious or like what they what were you're gonna say because okay. it's gonna be like sex in the city we're gonna start with the earliest the earliest and then work our way up okay wait yeah. i wonder who's the earliest? the earliest is the power lifter what? Brandon, we can't keep up with that. You need to yeah, like you can. how many the are there the power lifter okay the power lifter would sweep his carpet he was not a power lifter. Yes, what are you was. talking he was a, about? Or a wrestler. He was a power lifter. No, he fucking wasn't. He was literally a New York City about. rat. He was a New York Why? City rat. He was a power lifter. He wasn't my first boyfriend, though. He was not a after power dad. lifter. No, mom, I'm oh, talking yeah. about the ones that we remember when we were kids. The power lifter who would okay. sweep his carpet. He wasn't a power lifter. He wasn't lifter. a power lifter. In what yes, fucking he was. world? Yes, he was. You yes, he were was. a child. You were a baby. You <laughs> okay. don't even remember. I know I said that. I don't he, remember shit. He was. <laughs> because I had to go well, to... I think he does not deserve the term powerlifter. He deserves... He's no, a competitive powerlifter. Staten Island rat. Period. Oh, my God. Probably yeah. call them Mr. Something. He like was doing sex in no, the city. No, they doesn't deserve Mr. 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 He was carpet a short, sweeper. short little... <laughs> let's, call That's what he was. let's call him carpet okay, sweeper. Okay, Mr. Carpet sweeper. Mr. Carpet sweeper. How did you date a guy who swept his carpet, mom? They didn't no. have a vacuum cleaner. I he he was sweeping his carpet. Listen, I was like, it like broke my brain. I'm like, what is this man doing? Brandon getting mad about him sweeping his carpet is so the type of thing that a man that bothers a, a man. No, this isn't like me coming for oh, men. Okay, good. But good. it's just like there's. Spe- I've noticed with having a male best friend, there's specific things that make that men will pick on other men for that like women never would. Like I would never think about the fact that he swept his carpet. But you, but you think that's so. No, I thought it was fun. I, I it was picked up the broom too. and started sweeping it too. It was like, weird as shit. <laughs> I didn't you, care. You, the sound of the broom on the carpet. You're grinding the dirt into the carpet yeah, that by makes, sweeping that it. Makes I don't no think they had enough money very, to go get a vacuum cleaner. Okay, but the sweeping the carpet, it was honestly so bizarre. It I was forgot bizarre. about that. That's all I remember. No, I or remember their vacuum that. Cleaner broke. And then we found, we found like pill bottles one time oh, yeah. in the fucking closet that we had to sleep in. We slept in a fucking closet. Was closet? I thought it was under the bed in between the mattress. Oh yeah, where do we? You put sleep? us in a fucking Upstairs. closet with a blow up mattress because he yeah. didn't have a room for us to be in, so you oh, guys could you found it and each showed other. me, and I'm like, oh my god! All right, so he's, we gotta leave. He's bottom of the motherfucking barrel. Yeah, anyway, anyway, quick context: this guy lived in New York, we lived in Maryland. It's like four hours away, and we would get we, dragged we would, there every weekend. Yeah, we would drive there, and then we would all sleep there. And, <sighs> j- and then she woke us up at four a.m. I'm not gonna lie; I home. only remember having good memories from that because uh, maybe I was just too young. It was like an adventure don't. for us. It was an adventure. I remember buying a light up thing on the street from some guy that like you oh, put yeah. it and it spin yeah, around. We, we went to Manhattan a lot. We well, it was around. cool to us because when we were little kids, we never traveled anywhere except this like ocean, this beach that was three hours away from us. So we started going to New York when you got the work yeah when back. i was a kid yeah. i thought i was from we, new york we thought it was so cool we were like <laughs> you did, did. New york was cool, i also took you to a buddhist museum do you remember that no i remember yeah. a picture from it yeah i think all right yeah. next we're not gonna get through them all anyway yeah 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 what do we what, what do we rate this guy i don't know a zero like a, a b c d e like grade like school e. grade e. I, actually i would say d because I, I, really I would remember. say d yeah a i good would say d. e because he was weird and gross and gave me the ick yeah, the carpet sweeping automatic D for me. I remember he like I really just really I didn't do remember like him. one thing with him that really pissed me off that um he would go to work and he had a roommate and when he came back from work I swear it was like a half a mile away from their house he found a condom on the ground and he took picked it up and Ew, he picked it up a raw condom and the brought ground? it back what and said fuck? what is this and I'm like it looks like a condom and he's like he thought I was having sex with his roommate and oh blaming me and, like, I and like seriously getting paranoid and wanted, I'm like okay we need to leave now we wanted to Damn watch it. American Idol because we loved watching American Idol with mom we wanted to watch it and we were looking over this like little balcony thing that he had trying to watch on the TV and he was like go to bed and I was like fuck I hate this guy <laughs> and me and Brandon would like sit there and talk shit about him in our little blow up bed that what we had to sleep on what would I do <laughs> I don't remember I think oh god talking shit terrible. since what year was that like 2000 yeah that's what people need to understand we've been shit talkers since we came out of the fucking womb yeah that's like, have you thing. seen our father that's what i don't get <laughs> right. people see videos of dad and then they're surprised as to why we are the way we are oh, he, he's definitely we are not the like biggest dad. one he's it's the worst for us. Oh, you're one to say that you're the most like dad not really <laughs> mm, you guys each got a little bit of, i got a, maybe a little, a little bit of, of his him. edge but besides that I'm yeah not i got his like no, i don't think you're anything like him. yeah yeah you did you definitely did 
I think you both yeah. have. Except I his think cuntiness. they have it in them, but they, but you don't do it. So no. Oh yeah, I got it to each other. Got it in me for sure. Anyway, Hopefully, you're more a bigger. On to the next guy. Me. Okay, we got we got uh Mr. Birdman. Oh, Ugh, ew. This guy. Oh. This guy brought a parrot into our kitchen. That would First just of all, shit parrots everywhere. Parrots are gross. Yeah. They're a beautiful animal. No, no, no. But they're gross. Brandon, they're they not gross pets. if somebody takes care of them properly, but this man you don't put a parrot stuck in a, his in a... parrot in our kitchen and wouldn't clean the newspaper for fucking weeks. Yes, and we had a small yeah. kitchen, so the kitchen was like it was basically coated a fourth in of it. bird shit. He was yeah, a stripper, too. Oh, oh wow. Uh, the, and he lived in our kitchen, basement. Yeah, <laughs> fourth of the kitchen was the parrot's cage. It would always shit in it. It always smelled like parrot shit in the kitchen. So it's like, that's a place where you, you eat. You just walk on the bird. It was nauseating. Crunch, crunch, I would just crunch. feed it peanuts. <laughs> it was nauseating. I, there was nowhere peanuts? else to put this bird. <laughs> he kept. He would always be like, I remember I, I had him moving in and I'm jiggling the keys to open up the door and I hear somebody in the house going, hello, hello. <laughs> and I'm like, who the hell is that? Hello, hello, and I'm like, oh my god, maybe that's the clean a cleaning lady. <laughs> maybe he got somebody to come in and clean the house. Hello, I opened up the door. I'm like, hello, and he's like, hello, hello. It sounded like a a woman, like with a deep voice. Yeah, he would do weird and shit too. And I walk too. in, and I'm like, I look around. I'm like, oh my god, it's a fucking parrot. Yeah, you would walk by. You go, it would go. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Is it like a bomb him. going off? He taught him <laughs> to, to do bombs and he also said he picked it up from and the it, television. Wouldn't it say Polly want to crack her? And it would say princess. No. Wouldn't it say princess? A princess. princess. Something. And then I remember one time I got princess so Jen. angry at this guy. He pissed me off so bad and he was moving. He was going to be moving out. So every day I would go over to the bird and I'd say, <laughs> I, I would try to teach it. <laughs> Fuck the name. I'm going to say the name, just bleep it. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. And I don't know if it caught on at some point. Hopefully, it did. <laughs> like a scene a can you movie. believe You're that me this so guy, much of Carrie Bradshaw right can now? Can you believe that this guy actually tried to walk out of the house without the damn bird? Yes. I said, "Excuse oh my me, God. Ex- are you forgetting something?" And he's like, uh, "What?" Honestly, and I'm like, "The bird." I felt sorry for the bird. They live for a while too. I wanted to. T- oh, oh, when well, he's got to take it to the that airport. Poor bird. That poor fucking. Why he the fuck probably did gave that it to somebody. Get a bird? <laughs> <laughs> Who just decides to get a fucking parrot on a whim? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. I think you. I don't really remember, I don't remember him. him I only remember the bird. I remember him making me uncomfortable, but that was every single man. I'll just give him an Eve just because I, I remember. I, he if was, I don't remember him, I don't like him. He, he was me. moving stuff. Didn't and he sleep he, in the basement? Yeah. yeah, but he was moving stuff and he, by accident, smashed a big hole in the wall. And I, I went down <laughs> and I said, uh uh-uh, uh, you're fixing this. And he was like an hour or two away from his flight. So I had to drive him to Home Depot to get all the <laughs> supplies God. so he would fix it because I stole his tickets. Back then, I don't think you could get them online like you can now, like so easily. Mm-hmm. So I, I saw he had printed them in his room and I grabbed them and I said, you're not going to get your flight tickets Good for you. until you fix the hole oh in the wall. God. And then he did. <laughs> so was next, right, who was the next one? one? Okay, next is going to be Mr. Skater Bro. Who is that? Oh. Young. He was young. Oh. I still stay in touch with him, so, so he might hear this. You do? That's fine. I don't have anything back. Yeah. No, no, no. That's he was true. funny. He was, a, he was a better one. So I used to skateboard with this guy. He was way too young. He was probably like early. How old was he when he you dated just, him? When, 24. Mm. Younger, was he? I think. I think he, he's younger. He no, uh, he wasn't younger. He was like 24. Okay, he was like 24. I was probably like 12. He's going to see this and be like, he literally was, watches to see if we talk well, about we him. Won't, we won't talk shit about him. Okay, There's well, no I, shit I to talk about. You I can. Because no, he got in a car accident with me in the front him. seat. And he felt horrible about that. Well, he should, because I think I got whiplash. I don't remember him being bad. He was just like... You gave immature. Kennedy a concussion. No, no, Honestly, listen. I, I was really... I was probably like seven, but I remember that being... That day, I got the worst headache I'd ever had in my life. I oh really yeah he did feel bad about it he felt terrible yeah and I only went he's in the car probably with nervous because, because, because he'd never driven else. with a child in the car before <laughs> but I <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> he slammed into a car in front of us I always yeah. had fun I with mean them. accidents happen I so. didn't dislike him he would though. take me to the I, skate park we yeah, would go to Dave and Buster's with him he taught you scavenger hunting because one I time he came in and hunt. did a scavenger hunt in our house and he wrote little notes and put them all over Listen, the house and he, she loved it he wasn't a bad one for no, sure he was a good person I don't I still think I probably did like battery him? on my tongue <laughs> that was a joke yeah and you got you started crying oh, yeah, Clyde, he it doesn't hurt. like it because of that he also <laughs> he would also i don't know if he remembers this but it he would also me. say okay stand behind you he'd like, fall back and i'll catch you 
but it, he did catch. I remember that. He was a yeah. fucking. He was a, it, good, it was on the steps. So he if he would have not, if he would have not done it, they he was just went an immature. Around. Yeah, he was a he kid. He was a kid. He was a kid. He's a kid. I did. I did learn now, something. So. If you take a nine volt battery and put it on your It'll tongue, it will you. shock you. Yeah, and it fucking hurt. And yeah. no one, like my mom, got mad. I remember. I did get but mad. Like, I, remember I was that. like. You what he? Why would you stick a battery on a kid's yeah, tongue? Yeah, I got really pissed off. <laughs> I give him a C. That's I, better I, than I give an him a, a B. Oh wait, do you yeah. remember? He was. He was. Do you remember? I, I always say this. Do you remember that. the time <laughs> that he? Um, we went to the uh, across the to the playground, and he thought mm. he was the shit with the skateboard. Oh yeah, and yeah, then yeah. he went flying in the air. Oh, and he his, busted ass. His body looked like a floppy guys, hot dog and landed on the ground and remember? you were laughing so fucking i've never seen you laugh that hard from somebody doing and having like i'm surprised i laughed accident. from somebody getting hurt i'm surprised he didn't bash his head like on the curb but he got up and he felt embarrassed he he laughed too though but you couldn't let it go you yeah. could not let you he, he would not let him live it down it I, so I got funny. along with him though I, that part that's okay. because yeah because of all, right. all those things are we ready for the next one my nail polish Ew. mr World of Warcraft, Mr. Army. Oh, no, we okay. call him. He's I, a good one too, I though. Like a, I, I thought World of Warcraft was funny. He I was had a, a soft one. spot for him. I feel like though. Army no. is more defining. Wait, no. why? No, he was Army slash World okay, of Warcraft. Okay, so this was. I want to know why Claudia this, has a soft spot okay. for him. Say, no, like specific reason, just because he was around. He's the one I remember the most, and also I remember him just being. He was he had really shit nice. Together, he had a car. He mm. had a good job. He was really nice. He played with you, you kids a lot, like video games and like always was like. He was definitely the most well. father figure yeah. out of all of them, yeah. and also, um, you guys were together the longest. You were together like yeah. seven years, he, and he was yeah. just like the most normal. Like he just had it together. Period. I just remember when he had to leave for the the for his mission. In Iraq, yeah. It this was one stood up in the car and started crying so hard. I was like, oh my God. I feel like we so, all were. It felt it like a, a fucking movie scene. Yeah, I With remember. him screaming, getting up out of his seatbelt, <laughs> like so dramatic. Oh my God. Did not want him to leave. And then they started crying because he was crying. Oh. I, I was good friends with him. That says a lot. Yeah. Good friends that with says him. a lot because Brandon, <laughs> also, none of us liked most of your boyfriends, but like Brandon, too, especially, like Brandon hated. I'm just curious what name you gave. We'll, we'll get to Powder, that one. Yeah, because I'm trying to do them in like order. Voldemort. Of he, he he was a good one, and I remember he used to always, <laughs> even though he he we would break up twice. We broke up what, what, twice what, what before happened, my birthday. Yeah, what happened is is he was in the military. He got yeah. he got deployed to Iraq. He left for like it felt like years, and then came back, and then they tried getting back together again, and it just wasn't the same anymore. Mm -hmm. So wait, just wait, I'm I'm curious. He was too mad at me. He was mad at you for yeah. seeing people. No. Yes. He, ex I had literally just gotten divorced. You guys like kids he, now and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. But he, 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 he literally he was like, he lied to me and he told me that it was going to be six months, and then it ended up being once he left, he told me it's eighteen months. Well, so I had literally just gotten divorced, and I had been married for however long, twelve years, and I'm like trying to find my own way. And here he wants me to actually wait for him, and I'm like then it's not meant to be like I can't that's not how I work right now like wow. I can't do that it's too much and I was lonely and I didn't I couldn't find myself like it was a lot and I was scared because I'm alone with three children on my own and I didn't get you know much help elsewhere so it was like having a guy finding a guy at that time for the wrong reasons I feel felt like I got really lucky with him because we really really got along mm -hmm. and we really had a lot of passion we loved each other very much but it just didn't work and then so he held things against me and then when he came back yeah it didn't work and then you guys are still friends with him I think on Facebook mm -hmm, I am. I'm not friends yeah, I, don't, he would like, I think I blocked him but I unblocked him but he would teach he would take me to the gym and like teach me how to like work out yeah I was, like he was, I was a young. good person he really I never hated I would play, play video games with him yeah exactly I never hated him I do all, I remember very pretty vividly when he took might have been just me Claudia might have been there too but it was like one of his army big army dinners and they would yeah. give they were giving away like presents to the kids and oh, I got yeah, a Barbie yeah, yep. doll and yep. I remember I loved that Barbie doll so much because yep. it was we like a lot in line and wait yeah. oh, like an yeah. hour for toys oh I yeah they went to, they, we went yeah. to a cookout too like an army cookout I yep. that I was yep. wearing I remember the shirt I was wearing because it had army print on it yeah and his uh -huh. parents came in and you made his father a present you oh yeah the Red Sox the Red painting Sox. yep and wow. he loves it I think that it's probably still hung up in their probably house so remember bad. the grocery stores and the army bases oh yeah they were like completely different the, the commissary food was super yeah. cheap no, yeah, yeah it was yeah, great yeah, I, do remember I remember that. one time he brought home a, a, a pool one I of those that. blow up yeah. pools and I got mad because I'm like huge we, blow up we pool. cannot do this it's not gonna work and me and him had a big argument about it not big argument we didn't really argue like that but 
He put it back there. You kids were so happy. He's filling it up with this freezing cold water. <laughs> there was no and chlorine you in it. Got it, no chlorine. You got in. You were all like swimming around, splashing, freezing to death. And then the next day I look at it and it busted. Oh, all I remember that, like yeah. the water. Literally, this the sounds yard. exactly like a scene from Shameless. And in my head, I'm picturing a scene from Shameless because that's what it looked that's like. How life like our was. overgrown backyard yep. with our broken down fence and this lopsided massive <laughs> blow up pool with hose water in it. And we're all splashing around like we're having the best time. Oh and I remember remember the fence was always broken too, like yeah. falling yeah. apart. It's still probably like that. It is, is it? kind of, but every time it does, Dakota just goes and bangs a big nail in it. Yeah, we definitely had shameless vibes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, big time! I remember watching Shameless. I was like, wow, this was. I do it's, get the lawn us. cut though. It's, <laughs> it's not. Totally it's us. not weeded like like all these weeds anymore. We keep it cut. <laughs> so I'm gonna give him a B. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll give well, him a B. I'm I don't say, think any of your boyfriends deserve an A. <laughs> I want to see if Dakota gets an A. I'll say I'll say B plus. That's pretty good. Yeah. I wonder if he watches this. If you're watching it, you watching it, then for you the are. grand finale. <laughs> okay, so the la- uh, the uh, Mr. Photographer. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, Cor- oh. Corey. Knows he something. gets in I, I, I feel like he watches these for some reason. I he doesn't even deserve I hope to he be fucking rated. does watch it so he can hear how much you fucking traumatized me. Oh my god. He'd probably say good. <laughs> I don't know. No, he'd probably. I don't even. I don't, I don't think he would. So, okay, so first off, bad. I don't know. The girls didn't have great experiences with him but i'm just gonna give my honest like uh, opinion i i like somewhat got along with him most of the time you had he, a full blown until argument that, until he that. pissed me off a few times really really bad where i almost fought him here's the thing brandon doesn't because get pissed off easily but when he does he's scary yeah, yeah at least to yeah, me yeah yeah yeah, yeah honestly definitely. i liked it when you got pissed off at him because i was like fucking finally maybe mom wait did he brandon. steal your beer or you stole his beer and he got mad no no he stole he took mine he, Okay. Oh, I th- I know what it was though. <laughs> Which is so- something really dumb okay. to get but mad about. But I also know but, what it was. But but I was like seventeen. He was he got mad at that, and that you. I I think you. I was trying to talk to you, and you weren't mm. taking me seriously. And I'm used to that, and I don't care. Like we all have our ways between us. We all know how each other are. And you were saying something to me, and I was just like, ah, whatever. He didn't like the way you were talking to me because you weren't taking it seriously enough. He wanted me to punish you or do something. Here's the or thing: speak he, up. Mm. and I didn't. He so would he try to be. He he would try to be like the the dad role sometimes, but he would do it in the worst fucking way. That was just like. You, well, we you didn't need a dad. Well, also, he, didn't he had, no, no, he had no, absolutely no right to play a dad role. The, 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 this is why. If you're going to take the dad role like that, you have to be like respected by the people who who you're trying to be and a dad love, to. Right, so right. if you're if you're not setting like a good life example by doing things that like, like, I, I don't know, he would just do things that weren't like the best uh like he wasn't a great role model. Like, no. he, like he would do things sometimes he wasn't that, a great. that he were was a questionable. Fucking horrible so, okay, so role when, model. Yeah, basically when you're, when you're trying to like dictate what somebody else is doing when you haven't figured out yourself yet, right? And playing that dad role, right. it comes off as like very. He was a joke. Yeah. Anytime he tried to tell me, all right, here's a perfect example of how horrible he was. I was doing laundry, and his laundry was in the dryer. It was clean and dry. So I put it back in his laundry basket and I literally carried it up the steps and gave it to him so that he could fold his laundry. Normal thing to do. No, 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 no. He flipped the fuck out because I put his clean laundry in his dirty, designated dirty laundry bin, which I think is bizarre because we st- at home still, me and Jesse, use all the same fucking laundry yeah, bins. It doesn't matter. Bizarre. No, like, the things he would pick at were definitely yeah. not No, he things, like would like, get normal. up and like scream. Yeah. I remember I just walked away from him and yeah, I was I, like, I I'm think, not dealing I with this. he just had a lot of his own Anger, own a lot problems. of anger things. But, but either a, way, either way, either way. He was always very like supportive of what I was doing. I do remember that. Like he would always like hype me up and he would always support yeah. me. Like Well, he thought highly of you. He definitely did. No, and it was good and it like helped me and it motivated me because he was like Oh, well, I'm glad he did he that would, for you. He, he, he would never like bring me down. Well, yeah, the that's one good thing, for you. The one thing, <laughs> I didn't have the same experience. I'm just trying to, I, I don't want to like completely so, bash okay, people. So, I want to completely bash him. Well, oh I am God. down to completely he bash him. He had his good moments. He definitely did. But then there are other things that he did that completely washed them out. <laughs> All yeah, the good well, things. Well, and I, the one I, I thing genuinely, I, I, I do think that people are always trying to be good people. They just have been through things that... Uh, I don't think that's true. I, I, saw, I saw a quote other the other people. day that said people out, act out of self-interest, not malice, which is true for a lot of people, not everyone. But I think the one I think he was just a narcissist. thing that really, that you remember is the candle thing. We did not have a lot of money at that time. And... Uh, the candle. My, my best what, friend, was the candle? I Yankee was, candles. I was in middle very, school. Yeah. I was obsessed with candles. It was everyone would bu- was buying me candles. I had like a whole candle collection, and I would light them in my room when I was in my room. And a room was a little messy. 
my, yeah, I was fucking 12, 13. Right. Clothes everywhere, which I didn't care about. That was her own private space and let her treat it the way she and wants. And that is, I honestly think that made me now today, I'm an organized person because of that. Because mm-hmm. I did it because I wanted to. And you guys had told me several times, don't leave candles lit in your room. But I was a kid and I would forget. Right. And I was downstairs in the kitchen and I'd left a candle, a nice Yankee candle that my best friend in, in middle school had gotten me for my birthday. I left it. I still remember his birthday cake candle. It was sitting in my room and I left it lit. And I guess he'd walked in there and seen it. And I hear him stomping down the stairs and he has it in his hand. And he aggressively said something like, I don't know, it said something to me. I forget what it was. And then goes over to the sink, puts water in it and throws it in the trash. And I was yeah, like, that was that that was which really also bad. why is he going in your room when you're well, not, first of all, let I me just know. say he he worked for the, the fire company where, you know, he saw a lot of like he was scared. It scared him. I don't care. And there because was a better he way got to deal scared. With that. yeah, yeah. That's what why he did that. And, and then also thinking. one time I got home from school, he was the only one home. I walked through the door and because my room had been messy for so long, I guess he the first thing I do, I walk through the door and he says, give me your phone. And I give him my phone. And then for the next two hours, he forces me to go to my room and sit there and clean it with him. Did I know that? He had, yeah. no, well, uh, he had no right to take yeah, uh, uh, anything. I, did say to him, I, I think like, he just had no idea how to interact with no, like a 13 he year old didn't. girl. But, uh, but the same thing, I would get into the same argument though. Like, why are you going into their rooms this this is not your space this is their space mm-hmm. and he couldn't understand why i wasn't making them clean their own space like well, what i don't it's understand not how is like, he was raised he, so or was something. he forgetting that he was the one that moved into our house right. like this was our home right. before Listen, he was there it was such a that, it, it was stuff like that that really got it bad. was so i would not leave my room for a full 24 hours and let myself starve because i didn't want to run into him Literally, in the kitchen. I, I never wanted to see him yeah, i trust me i mean i was felt, traumatized too i've never i know you were i've never felt so much negative emotions towards somebody in my life as much as I do towards him. I still have nightmares about him. And I remember vividly when I was like 12, 13, I would imagine horrible things happening to him because I hated him so much. I just, I mean, I'm glad I did finally got rid of him, but like, I don't understand what took me so long. I don't know what I was scared of. I really was going through some you shit were hurt. and it took six years for me to get know. through that. Like, I don't know. I, I just can't, I can't imagine being that way now and making decisions like that. But you know, everybody goes through their struggles and everybody does things and there's always a reason for it. But sometimes you just cannot pinpoint exactly what's going on in your brain and in your mind, like what, Listen, how you're I, thinking of things. I like, really, really, just, really try to have empathy for for everyone because, you know, every like you just said, everybody is going through something. But I will never have empathy for that man. No. And I will also say when he was going through a really, really hard time when. Oh, yeah, I know. Yep. I came home from school and he was on the floor, on the floor in the kitchen crying. And I could have easily walked upstairs and walked past him. But I came over and I hugged him until he felt better. And in my head, I was like, I hate that I'm doing this right now because I don't want but him to think that so I love him. For him right? Yeah, I know. I feel like we had moments where we like tried to treat him with kindness but in my bones when i would be nice to him i would literally hate myself yeah i just feel like very he was very unstable in in the way that he would he was just think. mentally super mentally ill he and really just, narcissistic yeah yeah so many issues that yeah, were like he would call me narcissist. well yeah <laughs> well, that's, that's what, what narcissists, narcissists do, do. Oh, right <laughs> anyway a big fat e <laughs> a, a z the bottom e. of the oh my alphabet I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say a c like just he like broke in the, the chart oh, wow. in the bad way yeah what are you rating him the lowest it possibly can go because well, that's what he was guess what after that oh you missed one i'm honestly surprised but i don't think didn't like physically Talk abuse us guy. yeah oh uh, i don't even remember yeah oh, okay yeah. But, so but our then- mother dated somebody named <laughs> no, don't put that in there. So, so at, at the end of the day, after after all of these guys, you're now with a a girl. A woman. Yeah, but that's yeah. he's literally he's the one that broke it for me. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, because okay. I went into therapy after that because I was like, okay, this is too traumatizing. I am not learning <laughs> lessons and doing things differently. So let me just go work on myself completely, and I did. And that you guys were a little bit older, it was a little easier because I felt like I could give myself that type of attention and love which i think everybody should do uh and not wait too long well it's hard too when you're a mother and you've spent so much of your life dedicating to your kids and you didn't have a ton of time to actually worry about making money so then once everybody really started making money and 
kind of growing up and your vibrations I started, were just low so you're attracting yeah, low vibrations exactly that's why. Mm-hmm. exactly raise your vibrations either way raise your vibrations. You, you were always a, a good mom you still like looked out for Thank us you. and, and I don't you you yeah. that means so much to me because i remember when you guys were little things were going on and i couldn't explain things fully to you you only saw what you saw and i was like i hope one day i remember crying to my mom and dad saying i hope one day they understand like what is really going on and they were like they will they will so i, I just i would not have changed anything though i'm glad i did i wouldn't either I did. honestly Mm-mm. it was fine because and 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 now look yes well, well, i'm with I, a woman I, yeah, and I also think she's things amazing are, things are good for you now because you went through so much turmoil for so many yeah. years like yeah I, I have to say i mean I'm probably still traumatized. Dude, i don't know <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's why i Throughout every relationship you've been through, I don't have empathy for the men. I have empathy for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you. I have empathy for the me. Yeah. <laughs> I do. And that's good. <laughs> that's good. You should. You shouldn't look back and be like, oh, you regret this or regret no, this. No, I don't. This. I definitely don't do that. But I mean, I think back like I could have made it a little it less. Doesn't, well, think how much you useless to think like but that. I know. Think how much you probably learned in the process, though. Oh, I have. And that. I've gotten, you know, definitely gotten like not meaner, but tougher mm-hmm. you know assertive. everything you come out of only makes you stronger yeah, I, yeah. I think you're still empathetic you're just like you don't take shit yeah, yeah. exactly but and you, sometimes you don't want to I... like completely lose your empathy because then you're just a piece of shit at that yeah point. yeah but it, it, it it's a there's a balance to find there yeah but where you know i get along I, dakota's like my best friend we do everything together so she's just like and she understands to a degree and everybody's got like their own thing she has her own things and you know but we get along so well that i feel like Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Because Thank God. I, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Because <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> I feel like we should save the. Kennedy yeah, I was gonna say week. that. We'll save it. Yeah, because it's we've been talking for a while. Yeah. yeah my bladder's full again. That's how I. My know bladder's full. That's too. how I know it's time to end it. <laughs> when Jen's bladder's full. It okay, would be guys. Jesse if it Jesse See was here. Week. It would be his. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See you next week. Jesse, he was like, <laughs> your bladder. We're talking about. <laughs>